Hello everyone, today I'll make a review about um, uh, two backpacks. Uh, they are made by Eva Minge. I hope I, uh, I read it right. It's Eva Minge or Eva Minge. If you know how it's spelled right, tell me in your comments. If no, it's okay. <coughs> it is a um, Polish designer. Uh, she makes a lot of interesting stuff. I decided to buy these backpacks uh, when I seen huge discounts because they were about um, $200, $150, something like this and I bought them like for $100. <coughs> All right, so this is <clears throat> my first backpack. Uh, it has some kind of metallic design. It says Eva Minge. The design is... is um, interesting because it has also this kind of metallic letters on the back of the backpack here on both sides but you must pay attention so you won't get your clothes um, stuck in these letters that was one of the problems I got and uh, these letters on Eva are moving quite a lot and they are gathering like this. Uh, and I constantly have to set them in place. But in general the metal didn't uh, get any stains or rust or anything like that. They didn't fall, they are fixed it here pretty well. Uh, the leather is sturdy. I mean, I've been wearing for a while this backpack, I didn't have any problems, it has uh, small legs metallic at the bottom and they are fixed very well. The sewing, as you can see, is um, very nice, I hope it isn't too dark in here. So, inside of the backpack, inside of the backpack, inside of the backpack, the textile is a bit flimsy, but it also has the hearts and Eva Minge logo printed on it. Here it has a pocket and in front it has another pocket and the bigger one. It is one of my favorite backpacks because I a black backpack you can wear it with anything. With jeans, with really with anything. <clears throat> I'm really happy with this purchase. And the price, the design, and the material of the product is really, really nice. So, next backpack. I am not so sure about this one as about the, uh, no, the other one because the color is not really what I expected. I expected it to be more like a peachy pink. Yes, but if you can see, it's more like a baby powder pink, a baby a dusty pink. I know it's in fashion now, but uh, I think you, I've been wearing this with white sneakers. Yes, because I do not have any kind of pink shoes. Maybe with kind with nude shoes it would go. I do not envision myself wearing pink shoes. And I do not own any pair of pink shoes. <laughs> Maybe I should. Okay. 
<coughs> so the sewing again is very very nice uh, the quality of the leather is nice and let's see inside okay okay inside the textile inside is pretty sturdy and it has also um, the same pockets as before but this time as the shape of the backpack is more steady the space is clear the lining you see they added extra material here so no threads are poking i think the quality of her goods are um, is very nice really i think it's really premium quality uh, the sewing they are sturdy and great quality items i mean it uh, for $100 you can buy different backpacks, uh, she has even some cheaper versions, smaller ones, or sometimes you can find very great discounts on her goods. She also has shoes, yes, I got some very nice shoes. I'm very glad I discovered this brand, it's not sponsored by any means. Uh, She's uh, doing really great. Thank you for watching me. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I'll show you more stuff that I'm finding. Uh, all the stuff here on... By now, it's only stuff I'm buying for myself, for my capsule wardrobe. Because I try to buy items that are on a budget, but are great quality, uh, really great quality, I'm not exaggerating, they must be very well sewn, very nice leather uh, or material, it must be impeccable, really. And uh, the price, it shouldn't cost me one hand and a foot. I don't sell my organs to buy um, bags. Okay, see you next time. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.